the next section is interpreting graphs. It's really easy. The thing that you need to do is just make sure that you understand that variables can change around, and as long as they uh, one variable represents the same as another, it's okay to interchange them. So let's look at 24. Uh, the function a equals uh, pi times d squared over 4. Well, we could rewrite this question as y is equal to pi over x squared over 4. And then it becomes really easy because the d and the x are the same exact thing essentially. So let's go in and do y is equal to, so I go to this function. I'm going to put the whole thing on top in parentheses, by the way. Because you can't do a divide in here. I try to hit the BC button. It doesn't really work as well as you think it would. So the best bet is just to do it in parentheses. So go in and do that. And then do x squared. And close it. And then divide by 4. Graph it. Now, here's your x and y axis. It's just the first quadrant. So just this part right here. So it's the part that's going up. So it's not this one. It's also not this one, and it's not this one. The only one it's going to be is this one, because it's going up, just like it's going up here. Don't look at this. Don't look at this. There it is. Perfect. It's this one. Um, the other one, 28. Which best represents the graph? Now, you could graph all of them, and I'm fine with you doing that, uh, one at a time if you want. You could also go about it in a bit of a smarter way, I suppose, by looking at their slope and their intercept. If y is by itself, it's in slope-intercept form. All of them cross at negative 7. All of these indicate that they cross at negative 7, so all those are okay. Now, the answers, you may not be able to see the negative in this one, and this one also has a negative. It's going down, people. It's a negative slope. So this one is out, and so is this one. So what you're going to look for is negative 4 over 3 versus negative 3 over 4. Now, if you remember anything about slope, other than the formula is on the formulas page in case you need to use it, the top or bottom tells you whether you go up or down, and the other one tells you how far you go to the right. So pick any point that crosses right at a uh, little grid point, so right here, and it crosses a grid point again right here at negative 7. So what I'm going to do is count 1, 2, 3 to get down to right here, which is the same line it's on. So I went down 3. Then I go over 1, 2, 3, 4. So I go over 4. So I'm going down 3 and over 4. Negative 3 over 4. There it is. So what you find points where they cross at those little uh, grids right on the edges of these uh, rectangles, count up or down, should be able to tell you the slope really, really fast. Now, your problem is also in the other book for this one. It is number 60. No, it's not number 60. It shouldn't be. It is number 43. Which equation best represents the graph of the line? It's really tough to tell. Let's see if I can bring it up so you can see it a lot better. There it is. I'm going to hopefully freeze that frame for a second. Good luck. <laughs> 